Hello, everybody. Hope everybody had a good week. Uh, still moving forward here on the P47 livery. Uh, real quick, do want to say thank you. Had a bunch of subs this week. Uh, much appreciated anybody who subbed this week. And all those who have subbed before, thank you much for sticking around. Uh, been kind of on a dry spell in DCS lately, but I'm still making the liveries. Just, uh, just waiting for the next great thing in DCS, and it just hasn't come yet. But still fly a little bit. We did fly last weekend for, well, we tried for about an hour. Had a lot of internet problems. Turns out there was some cable under the Atlantic or something that had been damaged and connections were being issues, so we didn't really fly much. But, uh, yeah, still still pushing forward with it, uh, with the liveries. Sorry, still trying to get my audio settings quite right. The, the volume was a little loud in my headset. But, uh, yeah, so even though I'm not flying as much as I have in the past, we're st I'm still going to keep doing these liveries because I just enjoy doing the, the, texture, the texture work on these liveries regardless, so... Uh, I did, so you might notice, let's quickly cover what I did over the last week, which isn't much on delivery. I just did a few things to kind of speed up the process. You'll notice I did have to add color to the tails. And the main reason I had to do that wasn't for uh, aesthetics or anything, but you can see this piece right here on the upper tail. It is actually embedded. Well, I didn't open the file. Help I open the right file. One second while I find the, the tail file. But yeah, so that piece is actually unwrapped and overlaid on a piece of the model up here. Or was it here? It was right here somewhere. Anyway, it was overlaid onto an existing piece. So in order to get that to... I want to say it was one of these up here, but I don't remember which one. No, it was this one right here, actually. So that UV was in here. And uh, in order to get that color to be orange, it was putting an orange blob basically on the tip. So I figured, because that was driving me nuts. And I know that's such a minor detail, but it was driving me absolute nuts. So to get that orange, I just went ahead and colored the tips of the, the tails of, of the elevators as well. Or the stabilizers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so we... Yeah, I just colored those in. Other than that, I just did some touch-up work on getting some of the other pieces in, uh, making sure like these little pieces were yellow, uh, making sure you know all the rivets were yellow or orange or black or whatever color they needed to be to match the painting on the surface. And then I did go through the left wing. I colored the gun barrels. I fixed some texture issues inside here. And overall, I really didn't do a whole lot to this left wing. It was in pretty decent shape. Well, add the weathering. I'm probably just going to use a lot of the default weathering. I'm not going to lie. This liver has kind of not been fun for me because the layout has been so bad on it that I just i am not enjoying it. So I'm just kind of pushing to get it done, to be honest. Uh, and I don't fly the World War II planes as much as I probably want to. So it's just for fun, though. And... Uh, when you're not having fun, I, I don't want to stop in it midway. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish wrapping it up. Do a decent job on it, but not a over-the-top weathering job on it. Uh, so today we're just going to basically get the right wing done. we got to still come up with our text for the nose slash body. And then we got to make the body chrome. So th that's the, my main goals today. Let's jump into the left wing file. And see if we can get it going real quick. It shouldn't be a whole lot to do on this. See that with left wing. We already did left wing. We need right wing. My bad. So it's going to be pretty quick and straightforward. Hopefully it's laid out real similar to... I'm going to close this one down. Hopefully it's laid out similar to this one. And we should be able to tell. Yeah, it is. It's pretty similar. So we're going to grab our guns folder and I'm just going to bring it over because it has the color in it I want to use it's close but it's not perfect as you can see but we'll just redo it so I'm going to quickly grab the guns being I know what they look like and we'll get the colors on them and then we'll get that orange color around the uh, the gun piece like I did on the other one I'm not sure which one of these are the guns. I'm guessing both of these are, though. 
this shouldn't take long. The uh, the metallic reflection we're looking for on the body via the rough mat. That might take a little work to get that dialed in how we want it to look, but I don't think it'll be too bad. That's my big hurdle for today. That and the nose art. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for nose art yet. I'm thinking I just want to go with text, but I've also thought maybe throwing an image on there might be fun. I don't know. We'll just get it. Once we get this done, we'll take a look at it. But I've been thinking about what I want to do next, because like I said, this one just, and it's not the model. It's not the colors. It's, it's the layout of this template. It just hasn't been fun. So I'm trying to think what I want to do next. I know there's not an official F15 template out yet, but there are a few out there that people have put together. I might look at a few of those, maybe do an F15. Uh, not 100% certain what I'm going to do next. We should have three of those cone things. Those are the internals. One, two, three. Actually, we have four. Why do we have four? Oh, because there's four barrels. Yes, I was thinking there's only three. And you can see here as well, you can see this green is not quite right. We'll fix that. Uh, but let's see if we can find the rest of the barrels first. So if we got the four internal parts, now we got to find, we got one, two of the outer parts. I believe this is one, if it's like the other one. And I have no idea where the fourth one's at. So we might do a little Little thing. And if we look at the other wing, we can see we had two over there, one there, and one there. But this one is not laid out the same. We got two up there, one down there. So I'm going to guess that might be one. And then we'll save this out and see. I could be way off on these, but. I'm still haven't figured out how to get my my export times dialed in 100%. So we're missing one, but we did get all the internals. That means that other thing I colored. Don't know what it is. Let's find the last one though first. I might have to throw. It should be fairly straightforward. There it is, right there. I'm pretty sure this is it. Just a cylindrical unwrap or cylinder unwrap, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. Hopefully that's it. Then we'll fix the rest of this. And you might notice also when I'm saving, there's that little like cut back and forth. I just do that so that I know when it's done saving. Okay, barrels are done. Let's get that texture in there done. Well, how I found it on the other ones, I basically looked for green. Like this right here. You can see. Let me get my base layer selected. So you can see right here where they just didn't. Just didn't, just didn't finish coloring it. <laughs> I don't know why. Like That's what I'm saying. This, this unwrap and this texture template is absolutely terrible. Like, it's just terrible, terrible. I don't know what that is. It's blowing off there to the side. The lines, evidently. I don't get why. I just erase that out of there so it's not interfering. Yeah, just another very bad attempt at providing us with a texture template. It's just been things unwrapped poorly, things not lined up poorly, things scaled poorly. It's just a terrible texture template. Not as bad as some of the other ones I've dealt with, but it hasn't been a fun one. So we'll just keep working on it, finish it up, move on to the next one. The last one I did from Heat Blur was really nice. I wonder if I, I could look and see if they have any other templates available. Because I don't even mind doing them if I don't own the modules. As long as it's a fun template to work on. There we go. Fix that. Now we need to get the orange in there. I'm just gonna go yeah out words. I'm just going to grab this folder just so that we have it. And 
And we'll look for the wingtip. I already have the shape, so as long as it's the same shape, or at least roughly the same shape, we should be fine. So we have one. Come on. We have those two shapes there. They're not going to be exact because they're going to be flipped. So if we transform this, flip it vertical, it should line up pretty close. We'll have to do a little tweaking to get it dialed in, but that's not a big deal. And then this one should go down here. Edit, transform, flip vertical. Oh, no, nope, that one didn't need to be flipped vertical. Well, that's odd because it looks like it just needs to be flipped vertical. Okay, it was just me. And then we'll just tweak these to get them into place. Not too hard. You might hear some background noise today. It's pretty loud here where I'm at. I've got an air show coming up this weekend, and it seems like everybody wants to go out and fly today. So there's a lot of background noise, which I'm fine with. But you might just hear something in the background. So. Fair warning if you hear some odd sounds. Trying to get this dialed in. There we go. Oh, what was I thinking there? Okay, I'm just going to clean this up. Last time I did it, if, if you remember, or maybe you don't, I kind of added an extra point for no reason. So take it out this time and... Do it properly. Go ahead and fix this one as well. We don't need that middle point. It's uh, it's absolutely unnecessary. I don't know why I did that. It was just my brain wasn't working right, I guess. Definitely get by with just one there. Okay, so that went up a little too high. There we go. It might be a little blurry because they, they didn't line that up perfectly straight, but it'll, it'll be all right. I forgot to check too. Oh no, the, the volumes look all right. I need to keep checking things. If, keep updating after I got my new system built and every once in a while I mess with a setting so nice okay I didn't do I did the wing tip I did them in yellow but this one doesn't have the trim tab let's see if that's we need to just get that yellow so let's grab our yellow color from over here where did it go red color right here so oh, i didn't actually make a folder i just i just overrode the red color so that's fine we can do that too if i can find it red color done okay so that's now yellow that's yellow it should be it should be everything Next up's going to be working on that nose art. I'm not exactly sure yet. I kind of have a few ideas, but... Turn on the reflections. That looks pretty good. We got the orange around the guns. We got the guns colored in. The bottom side looks pretty good. I could do more work on the wheels and stuff like that. Uh, let's go ahead and open them up. Make sure they are colored. That's the tail. All right, there we go. So maybe that one? Nope. Yeah, they still have... The wheel itself needs some work. That's pretty, pretty bad. Hey, cookies. How you doing, man? So, but the rest of it looks pretty good. The green color, the, the decals and everything's still there. So we just need to maybe find the wheel itself and... 
I don't know. It might have some color on it, though. We can take a look. I hope it's on this file. I would guess that would be it right there. Yeah, they definitely... Yeah, that's it. So the, if, if I use the existing dust layer, it should look much better. I don't like the existing dust layer necessarily, but we can take some of it off of the other parts of the aircraft like that. Just doesn't look very good. Uh, the dirt will probably probably run with some of that as well. But that should make the wheel look better. Let's just throw it all on real quick. Uh, the I'm going to turn them off. Just trying to see. I don't want it to be too much. That doesn't seem too bad. Let's take a look at it. We can compare this wing with the other wing and see how, how it's going. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's a, it's a beautiful day outside. I honestly am looking forward to finishing up the stream and going for a walk because the... Uh, the Blue Angels are practicing outside right now, so they'll probably be done by the time I uh, get done with the stream, but if not, I'll go, go for a walk and go check them out. I've seen them before, but it's, it's always fun to still watch. So that's a massive difference. You can definitely see there's more detail around the wheel and things like that yeah i'll just run with the default weathering i'm not going to create my own that looks pretty good i can deal with that how are you doing cookies you have a good week gotta move some things around on my desk i got a cat in the way today she decided she gets to sit on the desk and not my keyboard so let's go ahead and enable the colors on this one Get it out as well. I'm just going to kind of work backwards to our main file. Adding this weather in as we go. And some of this you won't even see. Once we uh, make the skin metallic, you won't see a lot of this. But now we need that rear file. Same thing. So we did burn dust, dirt, dust, scratches. That's what we did on them. Sometimes, just depending on the model, I just don't feel like doing weathering. And I might come back to it later on down the road and reintroduce my own weathering. But right now, I'm just not feeling it on this one. So. Doesn't look too bad. They did a pretty decent job on the weathering. It's not atrocious, so we can deal with that. And then our front one, finally. Smoke dust, scratches, dirt, burn dust. This is going to make everything look quite a bit different. Ooh, that one's taking a while. Not bad. I might tone some of them out a little bit, but before we do that, we got to get some nose art on. I see one problem. That thing did not... did not weather. And I think it's because I have a, it might be the way I laid it out. Let's see. Because I did add those in. Or it might be on the rough mat. Let's take a quick look. No, well, rough mat's plain. Metallic? A little bit, but not terrible. Yeah, the metallic's a little different. But it shouldn't be that different it's definitely the base color that's wrong Let's see if we can find that i know it was right like in here you can see here where i uh 
I've modified that. So I think I ended up actually deleting some of the dirt off of there. So we'll just come back in. Oof. See if we can just blend it in a little bit. Which looked better, the light color or the dark color? The darker color looked better, so. Just kind of blending it in a little bit so that it's not so abrupt. That should look better. I forgot I had done that because earlier when I was trying to find that uh, primer seam, it didn't look right. Not perfect, but it does look better. Some of that's because of the metallic as well. So I like it. It looks pretty good. We got some chipping up here on the nose they put in. I can deal with that. That looks pretty good. So now, writing the text, the big D, how are we gonna do that? I was thinking like, just D on the nose cow, but I don't know how that would look. There's one in here that's already here. Let me bring that up here. There's a couple in here that have writing on them. Uh, that one's a little too modern for me. I like this one. We could do something like that underneath that. Just do the big D underneath that. I could checkerboard the nose, but I'm not a fan of it right now. Just not feeling the checkerboard. I've tried it a couple times. We got this one, which is kind of more of a cartoony one, which I like. Really like this one. Uh, but I was thinking of something more like the big, like here, and then D here. So the big and then D underneath with the bigger. But we got to find a font that's kind of like this cartoony blend here. So let's go to ours. So I don't know though. So if you look at the one I was thinking of, Z big wouldn't really fit. Oh, that's got a different, that's got a different position of things. I just realized, interesting. So they moved the, it's not lined up either. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't line up the rough bed on that one. So. Let's just look at ours. don't know how I want to do it. I don't want it necessarily huge. Or I could go with an image. I have some Adobe stock images. Let's see if they look like. And I can buy these. These are just reference images that I could put on the nose. I thought about some of these. But I don't know. I think they've been used on other tail art. So I don't really want to use them or nose art. I kind of wanted to come up with my own, but like I said, I've lost a, lost a little motivation. So it's, yeah, it's kind of hard. Let's just play with the nose a little bit and see what we can come up with. Let's go paint here. Don't need those up anymore. Let's find the color. Now we got to find a font. This is going to be the tricky part. Kind of like that, to be honest, but it might be hard to tell what it is being there's no reference. I guess I could put the big above it. 
I'm kind of just looking for more. Some of these are kind of off the screen for you guys. I realize that I can't really. Let me see if I can bring. Nah, I guess I could bring this over here. Now it's going to hang off the bottom of the screen. How does that look? That's not terrible. So what I'm doing is basically just kind of looking. At them. Now I can't see the font. <laughs> we'll get it arranged to where it's visible for you guys. Hold on. So yeah, I'm just looking at the side. Ooh, I like that font actually. Kind of a retro-ish style font. See what it looks like if I add that other in there. I like this font. I think I might have found the one. We can just get it on there. Let's look at the UV map. Make sure it's going to fit on there. Yeah, see, that's hanging off the front there. Come on. I gotta get this back out of the way. Probably change that to a black color as well. And then just give it a little opacity. Like it's faded a little bit. Oh, I'm liking that. Let's see what it looks like. I could go with a little di different D. The D I'm not a huge fan of, I won't lie, but... Okay, so yeah, it needs to get smaller. But I do like the position of it. Basically, this this needs to come back to like there. I wonder if the D would look better lowercase. Actually, it's kind of ironic too. The big D with a little case D, it doesn't matter. They're the same D, so... Uh, I'm going to copy that real quick and just see if I can find a better D. Now, I'm not terrible. And we can ignore the quotes because I can use the quotes up above. I'm just trying to look for a better D. I do like that one, though. like the, the, the upper part of that one. That one, I like that one better. So that's Filotype Keynote. I should actually be at the top because I just selected it. Ah, I didn't select it like an idiot. Yeah, that one kind of fits a little bit better. I wonder if I can... Make that bold. There is no bold for it, though. Ah. Could put a stroke on it. But then I'll have to separate out the quotes, which is no big deal. That's easy enough. I would like to duplicate this. Little bit of tweaking involved here, but we'll get there. I like that one. I don't know that I'm looking at it. I think, ah, it's like it's not a D anymore. It's funny when you're doing fonts like that. Like you look at a letter long enough and all of a sudden it's not a letter anymore. It's just a, a shape. And your mind plays tricks on you. But we should be able to see quite a big difference here. I don't know. I kind of like the old one better now that I look at it. 
surprises me. Whoa, what did... What just happened? Oh, it's not that one. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with the, the same font, actually. <clears throat> Maybe we should put something else. Oh, the other thing I want to add on this was like the uh, bomb marks and stuff like that. So we're going to have to find those somewhere. Yeah, I thought I liked that one until I, I redid it. I like that one better. It just matches with it. And it looks pretty good on the nose like that. I think I like it better there. So I want to put the, the bomb marks like right along here. Uh, maybe a few here. I should really move that canopy release down so it's more visible. I should move some of these fonts so they're not overlaid with the black. And I was going to put an orange pinstripe along this, and I tried it, and it just didn't look very good. So I do like the nose, though. I guess I should. Do they use it? Yeah, I guess they. Would. I could put it on both sides. Even if they didn't, it doesn't matter. I like that though. That turned out exactly what I was wanting. Yeah, we can definitely put something on this side. But I don't necessarily want it to be the same. Do a quick little Google search here. I'm just doing a quick search for p47 nose art kind of see if they generate i guess one way to tell see what they did with the the base ones in here did they actually put them on both sides they put some of them on both sides but a lot of them not like that one's only on the one side that one's on both sides one side so it seems like it's usually just the left side so we can leave ours oops one-sided, or if we want to add something different over there, I guess we can. It's kind of just what we want to do at this point. I really like how that turned out, though. <sighs> Quiet in the stream today. Must be a beautiful day everywhere. Everybody's outside enjoying the weather. I don't think I'm going to put anything on the other side. I just have no desire to. So if that's done. Oh, there's some weird screen glitching going on there. Hmm. Well, let's quickly reset this. Happy with the wheels now. Oh, yeah, the bomb marks. That's what I was going to do. Let's see what we can find. Bear with me. I'm a little slow on getting things. Uh... Getting things set up on my stream because if things aren't where they normally are. That's what I'm looking for. Just a standard old bomb. That one's to buy and use. I need a free one. Or we could draw one. But that's what I'm looking for. Just something like that. I probably have one already drawn. Victory markings. That's what we're looking for. See right there. I think these are buy them type things, aren't they? I'm just going to use those. They're not for commercial use, so. Should be fine. I would like to get some of those as well. See if they got them on here. I like these. Fighter sweep mission, that's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Escort missions. See them up there, that's pretty cool. I didn't know they did that. That's kind of cool. They got the brooms, the umbrellas. Didn't even know that was a thing. 
I'm not seeing the ones I want. Hey, the umbrella is top cover missions. The missions were flown high altitude above combat aircraft meant to protect bombers or other operational aircraft. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know it. I'm looking for some of these. It might be harder to find. They didn't list them here. I'm going to save that in my references eventually because that's actually good to know. Okay. That's it. Get all kind of hate mail for using this, but I don't care. It's authentic. Did you see the big D, Valk? I got it on there. <laughs> Next up, getting the bomb marks on and then uh, chroming it out, and this one will be done. Too bad we can't fly this in our Arma campaign. Pretty happy with it. Like, it's not perfect, but it's okay. It'll work. As little as uh, I use the P-47. Hopefully somebody else will use it more, but just for fun. I think I am going to move some of these fonts down, though. So let's get, get those images now. Get those opened up. Are you taking a hiatus from the war for a minute? For those who are wondering what I'm talking about, me and Valk have been playing a Arma campaign. It's been really fun. Kind of a break from everything. Still fighting, got a new faction bothering you now. Oh God, we got a new faction. That's not good. Yeah, it's been really fun. Uh, taking a break from DCS, doing something a little different. It's been, been good times. Really hoping for DCS to come through and fix their stuff one of these days. That looks like about the right size. Got one of those in there. Let's get uh, some of those bomb markings. I'm just going to go with the old standard one here. Yeah, that's a decent size. We're going to stack a bunch of them in here. I did notice there was some like stroke effect on that I want to get rid of. Uh, let's go center of one. Should have got rid of it. They're really tough, huh? I don't know if I'm going to be playing much today. Like I said, I don't know if you heard me earlier, but after, uh, after the stream, I'm going to go for a walk and uh, the Blue Angels are practicing again, so I'm going to go walk up on the ridge line and Pull up a seat and watch them for a little bit, I think. Kind of get a break out of the house. They keep sending kamikaze drones at you. Yeah, that would make it difficult. These aren't tech, so I need to get these into a different folder called markings. I was surprised how, how fast we were able to uh, take a lot of those outpost yesterday that we went after I was didn't think it would be that easy let's look a little funny but I guess they would be spray painted on so they'd all be a little different starting to change is it getting harder now It's just something about them I'm not liking. Nice. I'm actually glad it's getting harder because the, the last two we did yesterday might have been a little too easy on us. Let's, uh... Yeah, I like that better. It just didn't look quite right. It might be that stroke on there messing with it. Hmm, 
not liking that. It looks a little too... I don't know. See how that see how that does. Then we'll maybe just add a couple more down here. Yeah, that looks better. I just couldn't group them, I guess. It wasn't working out right. We put these up here. I like that. Just adds a little bit to it. Let's make that a little more opaque. A little less opaque, I guess. See what it looks like. I think this is going to add that little extra detail. It'll look good. Oh, yeah. I got the size pretty close. It'll work. I guess this is where I put the eagle was here thing on there, but I don't think eagle was here today. I haven't seen him since he jumped in and we were playing armor. He just disappeared after that. So like that. Next up is going to be creating the rough method. That's going to be a little trickier, but we'll hopefully be able to knock him out pretty quick. I'm not going to use these existing ones. So I'm going to delete them out. He's on a Microsoft flight simulator binge. Oof, I could see that. Every once in a while, I like to go fly around a Microsoft Flight Simulator, but then I realize I can't blow anything up and I get sad. Yeah, I don't think any of these being useful, so that's coming out as well. I don't know why. Oh, that's the one I did. Okay, I know what that is. That needs to just go right about the rivets. That's all the different bolts and nuts and stuff I found that I wanted to color differently. I forgot I had done that. Okay, so now we need our red and our blue, and I'm just gonna use this as our green. My brain is not working very well right now, so got the green in. This can just go up into the green now. I made that blank canvas as just kind of something to draw on, and then I ended up using it. So as the color, because it's kind of worked. So we'll keep it in there. Uh, let's throw a white color on there. We don't have. I'll see how the. Uh, Making the, the uh, words, yeah, words are hard. Making the ambient occlusion map might be a little tricky, but we'll figure it out. Usually I normally just do lines and rivets, but I don't know how well they did on there. So I guess we'll find out. Because I don't have any kind of shadows and I'm not going to take the time to figure out where the shadow should be. That should work. And then our green, we'll have to put some channels in here. We need to actually get these going already. So let's do red on the red, the green on the green, and blue on the blue. I don't really have any metallic either. I, I don't think there's any metallic layers in here. See the Baltic Dragon? campaign DLC questionnaire I did well there's been kind of quite a bit of controversy around that whole thing for over the last week with 
asking why basically nobody's really buying not nobody but why numbers of sales are down for uh campaigns and dcs in general and then why he asked i think the general gist of it was why is it that people don't buy why wouldn't you buy a campaign what's the main problem and the it seemed like the overwhelming majority was bugs like broken ai broken triggers broken everything which is so true like it's <laughs> it's just in a terrible state so let's go i mean that's the reason we've kind of quit flying for a while was just it's just in a bad state I'm going to throw an adjustment layer in here just in case I want it. Won't use it yet, but I might want it later. So. The blue's fine if we want it to be. So this one's going to be more metallic than normal. Probably going to run about there. Not everything, though. We'll have to, we'll have to do some color correction on this so it's the first time I've done a metallic one in a long time so this one might take a little bit more tweaking let's take just trying to see where how I have this broken up right now it's gonna take a minute what do you think of that Valk? DCS core features and shit. Yeah, I mean, it is. That's that's the biggest problem with the game. I mean, but what do you think of the fact that one of the major campaign makers is reaching out like that? What does that kind of tell you? I mean, I read into it a little bit, but it's like, eh. okay, group. This, we don't want to be metallic. So that'll come into here. Color overlay. Black. Now you can see where I've kind of outlined that to not be metallic. Because I haven't, I haven't done a metallic one in ages. So. Trouble? Yeah, I think they are in trouble. They need to sort the game out. I totally agree. A save function. See, I, I don't. The save function I have mixed feelings on. I get it. I get that some people want to be able to save in the middle of a mission. But how do, how do you do that? Like let's say let's say you're flying a, a three hour mission and you fly for an hour and a half and then you hit save and you leave and then you come back. Say you don't come back for a week. I just think you're gonna be so disconnected from what's actually going on. You can't really pause combat in the middle, in my opinion. I get why people want it, I really do. But I don't see how it, I think a lot of people once they have it are gonna realize it's not as good as it should be. I think the bigger goal should be making content that's easier easier done in a short amount of time so instead of a three hour mission maybe fly 45 minute missions make better 45 the, the campaign developer should make shorter missions and and maybe maybe checkpoints to where if something bugs out or fails right then and there you can go back to a checkpoint so to speak kind of like uh there's a couple games that do it very well to where if you die or something you know you go to a, a checkpoint you don't start over but I don't think it should save like on long missions. I just don't see it. I see why people want it. I just don't think it's going to turn out the way people want it. Cause I think it's going to end up being more of a headache in the end. If you can't fly three hours, don't fly three hour missions. That's how I look at it. Uh, not saying that I know not everybody has the time. That's why I say people need to create the content for the people who don't have three hours to fly. I'm not sure about this. That should have changed. I need to find... Let's turn this off for a minute. Okay, so yes. If I turn that off and that off and that off, where am I still getting? Oh, I'm an idiot. I still had that one on. That will definitely interfere with it. Okay, so that paint. 
This is a tricky one for me. I'm not going to lie. Because I have a lot in here. Okay, so there's that one. Let's do... Black. That's going to bring that up a little bit more. That's going to make it non-metallic. Which, it still needs to be a little metallic, I guess. I shouldn't be taking these all the way out. Let's just copy that color. I just, I hope they do... I hope they listen. I hope ED listens and comes through and, and does what needs to be done. Do I think they will? Nah. I've been burned too many times. I don't think they will. Turn that off. Okay. Sorry for the boldness. There we go. That, that's a little bit better. That's not quite so bad. The light will be more metallic. The dark will be less metallic. But I do agree. I think Eagle Dynamics is... It. I don't know that they're in trouble yet with DCS, but I think they will be in trouble if they don't change the way they're doing things. Uh, the community seems to be always in an uproar about something. Uh, very seldom is there just huge positives. Uh, and that's bad for any company. Especially a development company. But we'll see what happens. I hopefully, I still fly it. I still enjoy it. Just sucks that there's not as much to do in it as I as I would like. Let's see here. So we got that one done. I think I think that'll work. We might do some tweaking as we go along. So let's turn these back on. Because now I can really tweak that. So on this one, we're gonna do the opposite. Basically, our paint. That should be under text. Our paint here is going to be a little more smooth. Kind of like there-ish, I would say. Our text. We'll go with that to start and see how it looks, but it might not look right. Uh, markings, those are wrong. They look metallic and they shouldn't be metallic. There we go. I had turned them off. That's my fault. Well, let's try one and see what it looks like. I probably should have practiced this before stream. I have not done one. Like I said, I haven't done a metallic one in forever. So this could go f fairly bad. Okay, definitely we got some... We got some... I did it backwards. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> the rough mat looks good, though. But I didn't do it right. I did, it, I did the colors backwards. <laughs> Go figure. My brain did not pull it off. You can see, so like the top shinier than the sides. So, which I actually don't mind the shininess there. That's about right. But I need to get the paint fixed or the the metal fixed. So that. Let's turn these off. Oh yeah, I see what I did. It's a pretty easy fix, I think. Actually, I just come in here. Color overlay this. This needs to be smooth. Not rough. I just forgot to set the main paint. That should fix a lot of it. There we go. That's looking shinier. Still not the same, the exact look I'm going for, but it's it's getting closer. No, 
why is the belly so weird? Hmm, interesting. Because all of the all the files are right. Maybe it's just a reflection thing. Could just be a reflection thing. It's really close to what I want right now. Let's change the environment, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, there's some that's a little too shiny on the belly. Why did it do that? I don't get why it did that on the belly, but it's definitely reflective now. You can see it more in this environment. This might be one we have to load into DCS to see exactly what's going on. I'm liking it though. Yeah, that looks pretty, looks pretty good. And the letter came out how I wanted to. It's not reflective. So like the letter looks nice the top paint looks nice it's got a little reflection to it but it's not overly shiny prop cover came out nice and chrome which is what we wanted i might tone that down a little bit i did go with pure metallic so let's uh or pure smooth let's maybe tune it down a little bit see what it looks like. You probably won't really see this one much. Yeah, you see it a little bit. It just kind of blurred it out a little bit, which is what we want. I like it. Let's do the tail section next. Save this one. Same process we're going to do here. I'm going to delete these original ones because I don't care about them. Ah, I already have a green. I want a blue. And we'll just copy everything over. We don't need that anymore. So markings, text, and paint. And then that. I don't think I have the same layout in here, though, which is going to be... Yeah, this file's a little trickier to deal with, but... Yeah, I didn't group everything the same. So this is going to be a little more work. Eagle! <laughs> For CC nuts. I, you see that because I did what you've always wanted me to do, and I put markings on a, on the plane. You see that? How you doing, Eagle? So we got we got bomb markings on there for you. I was trying to figure out where to put the Eagle was here thing, but I haven't figured that out yet. But that's why you saw the swastika first thing. Go figure though. That that sounds about when you would join it, right? When I do that, that, that makes sense. Now I'm just setting up the rough mess to get the rest of the, the shininess like we've got going on here on the front. Trying to get the rest of them set up. I'm liking it more and more nice now that it's coming together. So I wasn't liking the template, but now that I'm getting the, the final look going, I'm, I'm starting to starting to enjoy it again. I did not do a good job of prepping for rough mets though, so I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass right now, but it shall be okay. One way or the other, I will get there in the end. There we go. Oh, that looks terrible. I need to put a, a layer in there, though. That's looking somewhat better. Let's get the lines and rivets out. Throw them up there. I 
That should not have any pink in it. Oh, that was still on. Okay, there we go. Red is done. Let's get the blue done next. I don't remember what color. It should be that color. I'd use that color, so that's good. Let's copy this layer style. We'll just group all this into one. And paste it all. That should be... Yeah, the blue's done. There's not as much paint on this one, so it's going to look a little different. Uh, I know one thing I got to do, though. This this definitely needs to be in there as well. There we go. Yeah, you've always been asking for markings on the on the liveries I do, so I threw markings on this one just for you, Eagle. Just for you. Oh, are you still there, Eagle? I got a question for you. Kind of want to even cut. So I know you've been wanting to do some editing and, and videography stuff. So are you still interested in that? Because I got, I got something that we can do together if you want to do it. But it's going to be based off of how much you want to do. Cinematography, stuff like that. No, it's no hurry, dude. It's just whenever. I'm not, like, trying to push it through, like, today. I'm just saying, are you still interested in it is what I want to know. Because if you are, I'll make the plans to start working on some of that. I need that one. You know me. I'm never in a hurry. <laughs> I don't get in a hurry. Not really? Okay, cool. I know one time you mentioned it, so thought I'd bring it up. But if you are not interested, I'm fine with that. Green, green, green. I am in green, so that's good. Okay, that's going to need to not be in this group. Lines and rivets don't get in here. Leather there. What color did I do the fonts in the green channel? I don't remember. I didn't, so. <laughs> you sent me 200K, I will not eat my cat. But you can still send me 200K, just to see if I will. Well, I won't complain about that. I love my kitty cats. Even though they're shitheads. Something's not right. What is not right right now? Blue channel's right. Oh, the red channel's missing that layer. That might help. There we go. Uh, there's a couple things that need to change here. Going to quit what? I never said I was going to quit anything. What am I going to quit? This livery? I won't ever quit in the middle of a livery. Hear it in the background? No, 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 no. I don't know what you're talking about. You're being... Oh, vape? Did you hear that? Yeah, I've been cutting down. I haven't quit completely. I usually mute, but I must not have muted that time. Sorry. I've cut back a lot on the vape. Like, a tremendous amount on the vape. So. I'm doing better with it. I don't know that it's helped with my health at all, but. 
you know, what are you going to do? See, I kind of get a comparison here. Yeah, see, that just still doesn't... Oh, I know what it is. The blue color. No, because I have the right blue color. What am I doing wrong? What am I missing here? Stop mellowing our buzz, yo. <laughs> you know what's sad is it doesn't even give me a buzz anymore. It, uh, it's probably a good reason to quit right there. What the hell am I doing wrong? Let's try this. Nicotine. Yeah, it's the nicotine that's got me hooked. There's no doubt about that. I, yeah. You won't hear me say any difference. It definitely got me uh, hooked. I don't see what I'm doing wrong here. Red's good. Green's good. Blue's good. That should not be pink, though. Let's put these. I'm in the blue channel. I didn't change it at all. Oh, I know what it is. I'm an idiot. I don't think it's this, but we'll try. I didn't really adjust those levels yet. That oh, wasn't that. What am I doing? It's not working. I'm so lost right now. It's got to be that layer. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> there, it, there it is. God, I hate it when I get into that fucking mode where I can't figure out what the hell's going on. The text I didn't really override, so... We can just take this color, which I believe is black. Yep. God, I hate it when I just can't see the simple solution there. So the rest of this. That looks closer. Some of that paint needs to be fixed, though. Which should be these. Yes. You're still young. You don't have that many vices yet, Eagle. Don't worry. Someday you'll have vices. <laughs> they kind of grow with you as you get older. I was young. I was pretty good. I didn't really have too many vices. Then I joined the army. Oh, yeah, that was fun. God, I hope I got this right. Yes. I'm not going to lie, though. The tell. Oh, yeah, it does have the reflection. Okay. Vice, V I C E, look it up. That's looking pretty good. Not gonna lie.
Vice? Why do you want me to say Vice? Are you AI in my voice? Why isn't the tail right though? Like this section's not right. Did I mess that up? No. Maybe it's just the way the sun's hitting it in the model viewer. Definitely doesn't look as metallic as it should. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Bad habits, basically, is what that means. We'll have to go into DCS and see. That, I mean, according to my thing, it's set right. I don't know why it's not... not shiny because this should be that's interior stuff the body the numbers came out right they're doing the thing right I need to fix the emblems the emblems are not right I see that now Let's see if they're in here I don't even think I actually put them in there now that I think about it. I probably need to bring them in there. Duplicate layer. Let's just bring these down into the blue. Do, 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 do. Cause we don't want these to be metallic. It's gonna look a little goofy. That should have fixed it. We can also add a little bit of roughness here. Let's do that to the text as well. I see a message popped up one second. While I was on vacation, you got two degrees sun. Two, a sunburn of two degrees. That, that's extreme. Did you fall asleep in the sun? Just trying to see where I can see the changes that are coming here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did that. Easy fix. My brain is not in the right mindset today for this. But we fixed it. There we go. Now it's not near as shiny. That's what we're looking for on the tail. You can see, so you can see the shininess change from the bare metal to the emblem, which is what I was looking for. I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like in-game. Remember where you were from? We went from a 2 UV max to a 9 UV. I know tomorrow we're supposed to have like a super high UV rating. I don't know why. But we are. So yeah, and I don't know if I'm going to go out in it. <laughs> I was supposed to go up to the air show tomorrow, but now I'm thinking, eh, maybe not. I don't really want to go get burned to a crisp. Let's try to get these wings knocked out. Now these should go faster. As long as I don't forget shit like I did last time. I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not thinking clearly today, so... I'm going to close no I'm going to close this one down because it's good I'll s keep this one open to bring my files over uh, so in the green goes this one
You lost skin? There you go. I know you know better. What were you thinking, man? I mean, if you knew what the UV layer was, like, you knew it was bad, right? So, that's why I asked if you fell asleep in it, because I did have a buddy once who fell asleep in the sunshine. It fucked him up. <laughs> Pretty bad. There's that, that goes off. Lined and rivets. Yeah, he was in pain for about a week before it finally healed up enough that he wasn't miserable. Boy, my brain is just not functioning right now. More sunscreen that day, <laughs> and it still burned you. Wow, some evil sun. Try to get everything up here we need so I don't mess it up again. It shouldn't be that much on this one. I gotta remember to duplicate. You have to stop. Yeah, we're crying, man. Come on. <laughs> what have you been up to? I haven't seen you flying much. Vox said he thought you might be on a Microsoft Flight Simulator binge. Have you been playing that? So these need to be. That color. A little bit. What do you fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Like, what's your go to? Do you do like airliners or do you do more like small planes flying around, having fun in your area type thing? I can't get into it. I've tried. I get bored so fast with it. I've tried numerous times. 737 and F-35. That's quite a bit different. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this color. There's really no paint on the wings. I just realized that. There's just the little orange pieces I did, and that was it. Yeah, I know you said your dad flies airliner, so that's cool. You training you up to be a professional pilot, pilote, as we call them. A pilote. A lot of pilotes don't like it when you call them pilotes. Okay, and I've got that. Okay, I do have that one in there. You love the ground. Ah, uh, flying's good shit, though. I mean, I always enjoyed flying. I mean, even when I was having anxiety, I still loved flying. Yeah, you love smashing into the ground. I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. These need to be smoother because these are actual guns. So let's smooth them a little bit. And I know if you're watching this, uh, my methodology right now is an absolute mess, and I apologize for that, but I really didn't come into this one very well prepared today. That needs to be white. Let's go like that. That does not seem to be... I guess it's metallic. It'll work. No, Eagle. That's bad. T 
doesn't quite look the same, and I'm not sure why. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's not forget to save it as a rough mat this time. Was, I, I bet he still is a great pilot, isn't he? I would hope he still is a great pilot. There we go. Really hard to see that metallic try to fly between them. Uh, that doesn't look quite right. I mean, it is. It's losing its reflection quite a bit. But I really think some of these I'm just going to have to go into the game because this the model viewer is just not giving me the reflection that I'm, I'm looking for. And I might have to change the base color too. The base color might be messing with it. I mean, I throw it into some of these and it usually ends up looking... Like right there, that one looks really good. But the wing doesn't seem to be reflecting. The, but it is because the, the bottom reflects. I guess I could rotate the model around and see. Oh, I don't remember the command for rotating the model. There it is. Oh, yeah, she's reflective. Yeah, she's reflective. Nice. It's just the way this is working in here. That makes me happy. So one more to go. Right wing. Which shouldn't be too bad. Why did I... See, every one of these files is different. Yeah. No, I'm not going to write that on it. No eating kitty cats. Oh man, this is such a mess. <laughs> I really should have organized these. 10k. For 10k I'll write it on the side, but I got to see the money first. <laughs> I mean, for 10K, yeah, they'll make you a livery, custom livery that's got kitty cats all over it. But, you know, I know you're not going to send me 10K, so it's all good. <laughs> They only kind of look like bats. Oh, I need to fix my headset. It doesn't sit on my head right. Probably because the stupid track IR snapped on there and it's messing with things. run with the same color there let's get the paint color out of the green that is i'm really not putting as much effort into this as i should i don't think but it'll be okay have a not what's a not loop what is that all right or is it just a typo i'm gonna guess that didn't translate well that's what i'm gonna guess oh a battle yeah okay yeah <laughs> it's a not loop a battle 
I think I think Valk has a lot more critters for that fight. Like he lives basically in a zoo. I think he's gonna win that one. I've gone quiet. Just trying to get this knocked out. No, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Valk's animals will come steal your food. I, I bet a baboon would take a, a polar bear. Baboons are just evil and fast. I just have a feeling Baboon would win that fight. Boy, my colors are all jacked up again. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I'm in the green channel. I copied from the green channel. Let's get the blue channel one now. East. That's still not right, but hey, Louis Gustavo, welcome to the crazy chat that is talking about polar bears and cats. How you doing, man? <laughs> eagle is just being eagle, so you can just kind of just yeah, just ignore eagle. We're working on rough bets here on my P forty seven. So <laughs> they're having a battle between polar bears and and baboons right now. So. Right now, I'm just trying to finish up the rough map for this P47, and I'm struggling hard. I cannot get these colors going. <laughs> Blue. Who wins? I don't know, Eagle. I don't know anymore. Okay, so that is the right color I have in there. What did I do wrong on this one? Everything's blended. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Got to get the colors over to the paint layers. That's what I didn't do. Well, that didn't fix it. Got to get this over too. I do not get this. I did it again. Now we're fixed. Not 100%, but we're better. I forgot I had that left on. Let's get the rest of things moved up now that I know what I did wrong. We'll just bring... I should have that whole file in there already. I do. So we can just use this file. Orange pieces... That's good. That's good. There's no paint on the wings. I got to keep remembering that. That's what keeps throwing me off is that there's no paint on them. So it should be pretty straightforward. And I keep expecting it to have more to it. And it doesn't have more to it. Don't call yourself an idiot when I'm here. Why didn't that come through? There it is. Okay, blue file looks good. Except for I don't have the logos. There we go. Blue file looks good. They're pretty similar. Did you already run people off, Eagle? <laughs> it's all good let's get the uh green layer next du -du -du. so it should look similar to that pretty similar and of course red is good so i think we're in good shape now let's save this out and see what it looks like 
Yeah, I just, I should have laid these files out better. I just want to get this livery done. I'm not going to lie. So we're close. We're very close to getting it done, though. So now it should be reflective. Yes. I think I'm going to load up DCS real quick and take a look at it in game because that does make a big difference. So might have some screen fluctuations here for a minute or so, but you're Brazilian. You don't understand English very well. Well, I don't speak Spanish or anything like that. So I'll do better to speak clearly and slower, but maybe, uh, Somebody can translate because I, I can't help you, <laughs> but ask questions. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you don't understand them, you can hit me up on discord and I'll help you out there if you need. I'm sure if you don't understand what we're talking about, then our conversation is probably quite chaotic. I'm going to see now. I have a scene set up for this. I don't know if it's going to work. No, I don't. Portuguese. Oh, okay. We're just going to quit. Create a quick mission on Normandy. I know my screen is not set up right now. Let me add a scene. See if this helps you out. There we go. Is that coming through? Yeah, that's coming through. Okay, good. Where is P47? There it is. Oh, wrong one. Wait, why is mine not in here? Oh, there it is. I forgot they order them differently in here. All right, we'll just give it a couple waypoints. I'm not going to actually fly it for now. I don't have my gear set up, so we're just going to give it a few waypoints. Take a look at it. I hope it looks pretty good. I think it will. I think it'll look pretty good in the actual... DCS lighting. Not too bad. I'm still not happy with the metal. I'm going to have to tweak that a little bit. I don't know if that... Yeah, sounds probably aren't coming through. I don't have that set up. Yeah, I'm going to tweak the metal a little bit. I'm not 100% happy with that. Needs to be more, uh, more metallic, I think. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. Still got some work to do to it. I'm not happy with the metal, but at least I have the layer set up now, so it shouldn't be that hard to come through and, and get the look. Like, in certain light, it looks exactly what I want it to look like, but then in other light, it doesn't, so. Eh, let's do it. It's, it's manageable. I can deal with it, but I probably will tweak that a little bit more. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. No, it's the big D. <laughs> 
I don't know what this AI is doing. He's just wagging on wings, doing all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can see what I mean. Like, certain light, the sun is perfect. Like, it looks perfect. And then in other light, it doesn't look perfect. So. Like, right there. I love how the sun looks along the sides. Like, that's the look I'm going for. But then when you come over here, it doesn't look like that. So. It might just be a color on the bottom that I need to that I need to fix. But it's looking pretty good. Black screen. Black screen. It's coming back though. There she is. So yeah, and I have the same thing in here. Like in certain angles it looks exactly like what I want it to, but then like out here it does not look like what I want it to. So I don't know the best way. I know one thing I can try see if it'll fix it. I'm going to save these out. Don't want to lose what we have done. And I'm going to try changing that base color and see if that does anything to it. So this color, let's try bringing this up to a more of a white color and see what it does. It's going to have a drastic effect on it. I have a feeling. I hope it does anyway. Yeah, that definitely, definitely changed the look of it. We can rotate it if we want to look at the metal. I think that's what I need to do. Still doesn't give the exact look I'm going for out there though. Let's bring this back up. I can't make them any more metallic. They are all the way on the black spectrum. Oh, no, they're not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's change this. We could go full metallic with it. I don't know what this is going to do. It's been a while been a long while since I've done like the the metal shiny metal look so There's some learning involved oh I saved it to the wrong file go figure it happens we shall fix Put that in there. Hopefully that'll that'll look better. Oh, that's too white. Way too much metal in that. Let's look at the uh, metallic. Why did that? Did I go the wrong way on that? Did I really just do that the wrong way? Oh, wow. Wow. I did. <laughs> Have I tried blood pancakes? I'm trying to think if that's something else here. never even heard of a blood pancake there we go oh that's definitely shiny so there's our base there's our normal there's our roughness That might be a little too metallic. Let's take a little bit out of that. What is a blood pancake? And I'm so, so not looking forward to the answer, I don't think. 
I know you eat pancakes all the time. You're always talking about pancakes. Reindeer blood. Reindeers. Ooh, that's pretty close. I think. I think I'm getting there. At the bottom is still way too white, though. Let's bring this down to ooh, Normandy again. Yeah, I just can't get it. Hey, Levant. How's it going, man? He goes on another strange talking spree, so just be aware. I mean, that's the look I want all the time. Why can't I get that look all the time? It might just be a limitation of the engine. It's definitely metallic. Let's change the base color back. Doing good, good. Glad to hear. I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. I was hoping you'd show up. You're on holidays. Nice, nice, nice. You guys are you guys are all outside the U.S. holiday all the damn time. <laughs> I'm jealous. Let's change this base color. Back up to something a little less less metallic try that color I think that's pretty close to what I had on the other ones it's coming up on two hours I might have to just work on this over the weekend if I don't get a, a mix that I like here in the next 20 minutes See, that's too... That's perfect. The rough met file is about perfect. Because that the black's going to be smooth. The lighter color is going to be less smooth. The... Uh, uh, if I can hit the right button. The metallic, I think that's still too metallic. I mean, it looks decent. So here you can see it's like the metallic really doesn't matter like it looks the same on both sides ah uh, you can see it there though I like this old style better even though it doesn't look perfect I think I like it better let me grab up up this file you don't need help you always need help eagle no complaining just remember that you said you weren't going to complain anymore uh where is that file at or that layer at there it is nope so this one doesn't even have that wait a minute wait just a minute I should have a, a layer. There it is, right there. How did this one not have that? That's really not much of a difference. So the main difference there, so you can see the colors are the same. Roughness is the same. The only thing different there is the metallic. You are the definition of health. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. And I think I like the old style better. This new one, it just has some weird color to it, and I don't like that. So let's go grab this layer. Throw it in the blue channel of this layer. And save this out. I think my first one was the one I liked the best, which 
Go figure. Yep, I think I'm going to go with that one. I think I like that one the best. It really turned out better than I anticipated. Not quite perfect, but good enough for me. I think there's some limitations with the PBR textures and the way the Eagle, or not Eagle Dynamics, but DCS renders things out. Oh, we'll just run with that. I think that's pretty good. If you guys are here, what would you like to see me do next? Because I'm going to wrap this one up over the weekend. There's a few little touches I'm, I'm going to do to this just to kind of clean it up. And then we'll... I'm going to get this one out. Is there anything you guys want to see next? Don't say F-16. <laughs> I know. A lot of you want to see another F-16. And I could do another F-16. That's not a big deal. But I'm open for suggestions or for requests. If you guys want something specific, let me know. Because right now I really don't have any plans for my next one. So I've still got another 20-ish minutes for today. We can go find a template and get it going. Oh, now Eagle. 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 Close that down for now. <laughs> yeah, I know Levent wants to see an F-16. I do have the uh, F-16 template that Texac did. It's an amazing template. Big props to him if he ever hears this. Uh, and uh, he said, he I doubt that. And uh, I just did one. Let's, we can take a look at it real quick. I redid one of my old ones. And it went pretty quick because <laughs> that's funny I tried to apply it to a P47 that's not going to work but yeah it went really quick because its template was so well done uh, and here let's go ahead and throw this up here yeah I'm really happy with how this one came out uh, he did such a good job of getting a lot of the the little details like sealant lines and things like that in on his template that it made basically put it together super fast and uh it came out really nice so uh i do have a kick button i'm just saying eagle and i also have google translate <laughs> But if you guys want to see an F-16, what would you want to see, Levent? Like, what are you looking for? I don't mind doing another F-16, but I don't want to just do a standard F-16. Uh, or, I mean, I don't mind doing a standard one. If it's just some tail artwork, that's fine. What are you looking for in an F-16? Splinter? Yeah, it's so overdone. I mean, everybody does that. I think we have some... Yeah, there's one right there. You mean like that? That splinter? I mean, it. There's a splinter for you. It's already in the game. <laughs> I don't want to do one that's already there, basically. I mean, there's. I could, but. I prefer to take something like this that I've never been done before. Then I did this one, which I haven't transferred over to the new template yet. That one was fun. Well, no, I'm just asking if somebody wants to see something. Because uh, right now I'm just kind of open. Uh, I don't have any plans for next week's stream at this current time. I'll have one if, if nothing comes up. But... Don't make me start Googling. And then there's also helicopters. We haven't done really... Do a meme one. I'm not into that, Eagle. You know me better than that. I'm not really into the... The meme... Scream, yell. That's not me, no. I'm just chill. And I don't like doing ultra-realistic, but I also don't like doing... I mean, I did the alien one, one 
wasn't realistic at all, but it wasn't very meme either. Uh, we could do... There's one that I haven't ever done. Let's see if we can find it. That would be fun, I think. I don't know where it's at, though. We got this bad boy. Which I think could be pretty fun. I could do an eagle on F15. But. Kind of on the fence about that one. I haven't done an MI24. I did a K50. I didn't do it on stream. I might have done a little bit of that on stream. I don't remember. Yeah, I did. I did the Swedish one on stream. Okay, so I did do that one on stream. Uh, but I haven't done... I haven't even done one of these. Well, you got to give me more than just a meme. What do you want it to be? Like, you can't just say meme. Like, there's a bazillion memes out there. So, what kind? Get be more specific. Why do I not see? Oh, here we go. I think it's the P. No, it's the. This is how rusty I am on this. I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, this is the P, right? Yeah, this is it. No, I'm not doing that. I'll I'll do a mean one, but I won't do that one. Nah, yeah. I'll do one, but I'm not going to do that one. I am not going to. No, that is not cool. The old mighty hind. I really do want to do one for this. I've never done one for the hind, and I think it would be fun. I don't know what the temple's like. It's an ED model, so I'm going to guess the temple is absolute garbage. Uh, what other modules do does heat blur? I forget. They did the the Tomcat, the Vigan. I could do a Vigan. I've been wanting to learn that aircraft more. That might be a good one. Let's see if it's in here. Could do a Vigan. I don't think we have a lot of liveries for it either. Kind of like very limited. These are all the. Oh, helps if I get to the right thing. ATS 37. So we got basically metal or that. Uh, I could do a JF 17. The reason I haven't. Uh, don't do it, Eagle. The reason I haven't done another Jeff is because I'm waiting on. Decca to release their official template. They said that once they were done, they were going to release their template, which I'm hoping is sometime soon. And once they release their template, then I'm going to probably make quite a few JF-17 uh, liveries. But I think in, I'm thinking this might be a good one. We don't have a lot of vegan liveries out there, right? Am I, am I mistaken? I don't fly the vegan much, so I don't really look for them. Could be a fun one to throw like a U.S. livery on this. Drop the Sweden camo and go with more of a a NATO type camo pattern or something. I'll have to look at the template though. I don't know how they did on the template of this one. But every all the heat blur stuff usually is pretty top quality stuff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no swearing. But I think... I think we might look into this next time. It's a good possibility that we might look into that. I'm trying to find one that I've never done before because the more that I've I haven't done, then the bigger my library gets of things that I've I've tweaked. So, and that's a good thing. But this one's done. I might do a little tweaking. I don't know. We'll see. I might play with it a little bit over the weekend if I have the time. But other than that, the color's done, the uh, rough mats are done, the logos are done. 
Oh, I'm tired running the default weathering, which looks perfectly fine. Might tweak that a little bit, but happy with it. So I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, next week, we'll be back next Friday. Another livery might be the Vigan. Might not. Might be the Hind. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I have not done an AH64, and the main reason why is because the texture files, I looked at them, and it's an absolute nightmare. Uh, I might still tackle it someday but i'm not in any hurry to do a 64 plus a 64 i mean it's just kind of a big green blob <laughs> it's kind of boring so but i'll look at it i'll look at it again maybe they've updated the template since the last time i looked at it. i think the last time i looked at it was shortly after it released so but i appreciate you guys stopping in uh much much appreciated lots of new subs lots of new people to the channel keep spreading the word hit the like button hit the share button I'll probably do another F-16 a little bit. So, And thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next week.